Well, as you guys can see here, it's a bit of a foggy morning. And uh, like I talked about the other day, that fog makes it really tough to be able to go out and combine the beans. They won't feed through the machines well at all. They get really tough, they kind of stick together and they get all strung up. It makes it really hard to feed into the head very nice. So, kind of what we're doing this morning, and uh, a lot of this we kind of do every morning. One of the things we have to do every morning is go through the sickle sections here. Replace, usually we'll replace at least a half dozen of these every morning, and once in a while we'll have one of these guards broke. We'll have to fix those. Um, we'll go through and grease the machines. We'll do that this morning while it's foggy. Um, you can hear we got the dryer going right now. We, uh, we're, we're putting just a little bit of heat on the beans. They're just uh, about a point wetter than what we want to take them to the elevator as, so we're drying them down just a little bit. And here you can see we, uh, I was working on getting the deep bander going yesterday, and we ran into an issue under here where the fertilizer the fertilizer I talked about a little bit in one of the previous videos is gets so corrosive and uh, we do the best we can to clean these out at the end of every year but on the back one inside here there's a gate that opens and shuts to shut the fertilizer off so that if you've got to take that meter out it isn't going to spill all down and onto the ground so that you can get that out and you can work with it well that gate was kind of corroded shut so Deer came out and we dropped that meter out. They've got it at the shop today and um, they'll clean it up, get the parts that we need for it and uh, we'll get it back together in probably, hopefully a couple of hours here and hopefully we'll get this thing up and going today. Uh, it'd be nice to get some tillage going, but we'll get the other machine ready, grease that up and work on the heads like I talked about and then uh, hopefully get this thing going. And you can see, or you can hear, I said we got the dryer going. We'll walk over here quick. And I'll show you what we're doing here. If you guys can hear me, I'll give you kind of a quick run through of the uh, system over here. will take the grain we turn the augers on and they've got sensors in them that senses the load so when they're pulling grain up they automatically run and uh, once the pits run empty that load lessens on the motor and uh, the augers will shut off after a few seconds so we can pull up dump a truck and as soon as we can dump that trailer as soon as this trailer is empty we can leave the grain in the pits we can take off it'll get augered up into there and it'll either end up in the dryer or in the uh, wet bin over here. And this is set up to automatically keep feeding the dryer so that the dryer doesn't go empty. It'll keep running all the time. We control the dryer from here. This is the box that handles all the functions for the dryer. And I think it's going to be a little bit noisy, but I'll take you out here and kind of walk you through uh, where the pipes go and how, how the so you can see kind of how the dryer works here. Yeah. 